One of the best tools to scatter vegetation is the Bagapai add-on. It's free, super easy to use, has ton of operations, and with a large planet library, so what you're waiting for, let's see how to get it. Two things we need before we go to Blender. One is the main Bagapai tool. You get that from Gumroad, and it's free of charges. So once you go to this page, scroll down a bit to where you see the purchase field. Give any price you see fit if you want to tip the creator or go with zero and hit purchase. After that, you need to assign with any Gmail, you have to get the download page. Here you pick the download for the version you're working on. I myself will work on Blender 4, so let's go with the top option. The second thing we need to get is the Planet Library and the Blender Market link in the video's description will get you here. You need to sign in to download this, so just hit the purchase button, then you go to the card where we can download the files available. There's a couple of options to download, so look for this asset library for Cycles and eBay, the new one, and download it. We have the two files, one is the add-on, the other is the planet library. So leave the add-on for now and extract the library in any destination you want. Inside Blender, let's go to the preferences to install the add-on. Super easy. Just use the install button to locate the file we got from Gumroad and hit install. The J key is the shortcut for the Pi menu, and once you enable the add-on, you will see when hitting J a full set of commands to go through, which might take some time, not our main focus in this video. What we need to see now is the planet library, and we do that by assigning it in the preferences too. Under File Paths, find the Asset Library section and hit the plus icon for a new path. Here we can assign the folder we extracted and hit Add as a library. So let's expand the timeline area and change it to Asset Browser. Here you should find the planet library we added. And it might take a couple of seconds to load the thumbs so we can see what we have. So to work with this, we just need any surface, a simple plane, can do the job. Subdivide it in edit mode a number of times. In the side panel, you will find the Bagapai tool menu. We can start with a simple example, scattering a cube on this plane. So add a cube, select it, and hold shift to select the plane last then hit J and choose Scatter. The side menu is full of options and we will go through them in a minute. Now you might notice that we have the Asset button in the scattering grayed out. We can use them once we select any asset from the browser, so do that. Might be a grass asset or some flowers and scatter them on the plane using the same pie menu. Once we scatter the grass on the surface, we can go to the side panel to change the parameters. I will shift the asset browser to the left side to keep everything visible. Here at the top, you have the asset or layer name. Since we can scatter more than one asset, you can change the name to keep things organized. 
You can also convert the layer to mesh, turn off the visibility, or delete it from the same area using the icons near the name. Next, you have the density control with mini and max value. You go with zero as a mini value and increase the max to scatter as many instances as you want. The mini value will work as key to prevent intersection between objects. Under that, we have the viewport display and the align normal. Won't do much in our case with simple plane. Like with the visibility, we can reduce the viewed objects in the scene without affecting the final render. You also have the proxy option to view the assets as proxies and keep everything light and smooth. Very helpful in vegetation. The weight paint option is also available to give more control on the area which you want to scatter on. And you can flip the paint once you're done, so that's awesome. What's left are the transformation on the bottom, both normal ones, and the random value to give some randomization to the assets, mainly with the rotation Z axis in vegetation like trees, flowers, or bushes. All of it in the random section have mini and max values, and as I said, we mainly deal with the random rotation, so set a range there that fits your scene. We can go now and select another asset, then follow the same steps, hit J and scatter them, go to the side panel to change the parameters, name it to not miss things up. Same, same, super easy to follow once you get the sense of it. We have also some flooring material, so pick a ground one and apply it to the plane. We went green here. So match things up. The first scene at the start of the video was on the desert vibes so you can pick and choose from those assets. The library is amazing, and the tools menu is something worth keeping if you're new to the Bagapai add-on, and it's free up till the moment this video was shot. So if you're watching, maybe take a moment to get this, if you're interested enough. And that's about it. Subscribe, cause why not? The Scat Man is always rooting for you. See you guys in another video. Stay sharp. Goodbye.